Hey guys, Pete from Mixcat. Um, we're actually going to build up a mining server. We're going to be mining for script coin, and as you can see what I have in front of me here, this is going to be the rack for the server. I got a motherboard, CPU, and some of the latest and greatest NVIDIA cards. Um, this is the 750 Ti. The Ti is actually a very, very electric efficient, and they do mine pretty good compared to the ATI, so you get a lot of bang for the buck. I got five of these guys that are going to go into the server, and if you guys stay tuned, you'll watch me build a NVIDIA um, miner as well as an ATI, so hang in there for that. This is the ASUS board I'm going to be working with, motherboard, and it's a beauty. I use ASUS because they're really, really rock solid boards. Um, the heat sinks on them are great. They just really hold up really nice. And if you ever have a problem with an ASUS board, they really do stand behind them. So, great product, uh, great stability, and that's why I'm going to use this for the rig. But this is the board we're going to be using. We've got a lot of ports on the back, which we're not going to use all of those, but what we're really concerned with is the PCI-X ability. That's the video uh, slot. We can do one, two, three, four, five, six if we want it on this board. We got five cards, and to make it fit into that rack, we're going to use these PCI X extenders. These are ribbon cables that stick into the board and give us a little bit of clearance. And that's going to go into the rack over there. You can see there how we're going to mount the uh, board into the rack. Let me open up one of these G-forces so you guys can see what they look like. And again, these perform extremely well. They're great with electric and you still get a really good hash rate. So NVIDIA really stepped up the game with these TI series cards. And you can't beat the price. Um, these guys on Amazon are about $159. And I'm actually going to set this up to mine in Windows, and I'm going to do a comparison with Linux, so you guys can kind of see ease of use versus performance. Little card right there. Well, that's him. This is going to be perfect for mining. Nice heat sink on it, and it goes without saying we're going to overclock these fans to make sure they, they run really cool and they don't fail on us because we're going to be beating them up pretty good. But yeah, this is basically sort of the rig, but yeah, it's going to look a lot nicer when we're done. These cards are going to go up here and they're going to be bolted down. I'm going to have to make some type of retainer to hold the bottom of these. Really, really neat little cards. Again, that's a GeForce GTX 750 Ti, and this is one of the latest Ti cards that came from NVIDIA. Uh, the particular one we're using here, you can see the box with all the details on it, 2 gig. And again, these get really good hash rate compared to the ATI cards and they're, they're cheap. So if you want to do something that's a little easier on the pocket, this is the way to go. If you want a, a custom script server for mining Litecoin or other cryptocurrencies, contact me. I actually put up a website, and you'll see that at the bottom of the video, um, where we're actually going to sell rigs like this. So stay tuned for that. Now, when you're mining, you're not actually using the CPU so much, and you can actually mine with the CPU, but the build that we're doing here, we're really focusing on these video cards doing the hashing for us. But what we're going to be using is this little Intel, and I believe this is a dual core. This is a, a 3 gigahertz. Uh, let's see. This is a G3220, and I'll put the specs on the video for that. We're going to use the standard fan. We're not going crazy with the fan, because, again, we're, we're really not stressing out the CPU much. We're going to be stressing those cards out, and that's why we're going to overclock the cards to make sure that 
uh, overclock the fans on the cards rather to make sure they run really cool and they don't fail. And if you run into a video card that does fail, um, we also fix video cards at Mixcat Computers. So if you have any questions or you want us to help you out with the card, send us an email or a comment.